What's up everyone? Welcome to the video. So I've been riding this bike, my Trek Domani, a lot more often lately, especially since it's the summertime. I didn't really ride a whole lot last winter or spring, so I don't have as much flexibility as I normally did or as I did last summer, last fall even. And a lot of my bikes are very aggressive, very long, very low. The Trek Domani being the most boring or most relaxed, most endurance style bike that I have. This bike has really been perfect and a lot more comfortable than my other bikes since I just don't have the flexibility in my hips and my neck. But as you can see, I do have about 25 millimeters of spacers above the stem on the steerer tube, and I've only got 20 millimeters below the stem. So I can raise this another 20 millimeters just to get a bit more upright, make it a little bit easier. That way when I'm actually riding, I'm not all hunched over like crazy. I'm a little bit more upright. And it also would allow me to bend my arms a bit or ride in the drops if I do want to get low and get aero. So what we're going to do today, we're going to go over how to raise and lower your stem. All right, first thing you're going to want to do is grab one of these Allen wrenches. This is a number four for the stem and number four for the steerer tube. A lot of times the, the different size in the steerer tube, but for this one, we're all good. So first what we're gonna do is we're going to loosen the sides, loosen that one, loosen this one, get stuck. Don't drop the, don't drop the Allen key. I always drop them. I, Drives me insane. Now what we're also going to do is we're going to loosen the top bolt. All right, and we're going to put these to the side. Now, as you could see, we actually have quite a bit of room right there. So what I'm going to do is take the handlebars off and we could just let them hang right there because this is not a fully integrated system. Now I want to actually put, like I said, 20 millimeters of spacers additionally under here. So we're going to take some of these. Uh, so we're gonna take some of these, put one, two, there we go. And then we're gonna just put the handlebars back here. And I always like to leave a little five millimeter spacer right on top, I just think it looks a little bit better. And I also think that it just, it's a little bit, it's it just something I like to do. Grab our Allen key, tighten it all the way up. And how tight is too tight? How tight is too loose when it comes to this? Well, the really simple thing to do is hold the front brake, push the bike back and forth. And if you can feel it knocking back and forth on your hand, you can feel it in your hand, it's too loose. Shouldn't be doing that. Pay attention to right here. And I could also feel it, but just so that you could see in the video. That means it's too loose. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the Allen key, make sure that our handlebars are straight, and we're going to tighten it. Give it, make it pretty tight, up just until it goes away. All right, pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, how do you know if it's too tight? Well, what you could do is you could actually lift it and see when you bend the bike like that, do the handlebars go back and forth easily. If you over tighten that top bolt, the handlebars are going to just be a little bit more resistant to the movement. When you move the bike like this, they're going to just stay where they are. So you don't want to over tighten this because you could destroy your, you could destroy your headset. Let's go ahead and do it again. Okay, a little loose, tighten, okay. No more knocking. Let's give, I like to give it one more quarter turn just in case, because it's always better to go a little bit tighter than a little bit looser, because if it's too loose, what you could actually do is you can ruin the bearing race and your frame, and you could ovalize your frame, and that knocking is just never gonna go away. It's gonna get worse. So when in doubt, always go a little bit tighter. I would rather crush the bearings or have the headset bearings go a bit earlier than destroy your entire frame. Especially if you have a carbon frame like this, it's going to cost you probably a couple thousand dollars to replace. Make sure this is nice and tight. Boom. One more important thing to do, make sure that your handlebars are straight. Always remember to tighten the stem. 
I've done this before, I've made this mistake before where I didn't actually tighten the stem. And what happened was I rode down the street and I didn't realize and then the handlebars turned. Thankfully I didn't fall. But you always want to make sure you tighten these. So there you have it. There's how to raise and lower your stem on your road bike, mountain bike, single speed, whatever. Definitely gives you a lot more options if you take some time off the bike, if it's the winter, or if you are always riding in a slam position and you're always maintaining that flexibility, but life gets busy, work gets busy, because as much as we love for our lives to revolve around bikes, for a lot of us, that just doesn't happen. That's not our reality. So we are going to take an extended period of time off the bike and raising the stem, making the handlebars a bit higher is definitely going to make it a lot more fun and a lot easier to get back into the sport because that's pretty much where I'm at. I used to ride 150 miles a week at one point. Now I'm lucky if I get 30 or 40 miles a week, I only go out two or three times, but that's okay. I'm getting back into it. I'm working my mileage up. So this is great that we have the flexibility to be able to raise and lower the stem. A couple things you're gonna to wanna to make sure of. If you slam the stem and you cut your steer because it looks cool, you're not gonna be able to raise the stem. You're just gonna to have to deal with being hunched over. You'll get used to it eventually. I, I, every time I've, I, I've ridden with a slam stem after not riding for a long time, it only takes a couple of rides, maybe a week or so of riding a lot, and then you're good to go. You're, you're right back to where you were, no big deal. It is kind of nice to be able to raise your stem, especially if you're riding in the city and you're riding in and out of cars and traffic like I am here in the city. Uh, so that's just something a little bit nicer. You're gonna be able to sit more upright and not be super over, you know, have to push your glasses all the way up, potentially look over your glasses. You'll be able to sit a little bit more upright and it's just gonna be a little bit easier to see around you. So definitely keep that in mind. If you do wanna cut your steerer, just make sure it's gonna lock you into that position. You could flip the stem up, but I'd say I don't think it's worth it. It's just a lot easier to raise and lower it like I just showed you. So hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one and thanks for watching.